So now it's time to celebrate another unsung hero with this week's One Big Thank You. Yes, tonight we shine a spotlight on Annie Bolch from Beer in Devon, described as the heartbeat of the community. Here are her friends to explain why she's so special. Annie deserves a one big thank you because she never stops. Since moving to the West Country more than 30 years ago, Annie Bolch has become the glue helping to hold a village of beer in Devon together. Annie does something for the beer community each and every day, whether that's the walking group, whether that's the Friday night group, whether that's the beer action group, it, she just doesn't stop. Annie has helped raise tens of thousands of pounds for charity in her community with fun ideas which also bring people together. Annie organised a 24-hour fun run at the local football field and we made a staggering £54,000 for cancer research. But her efforts don't end there. She gets villagers to rally round in times of need. Sadly, six months ago, my younger sister was diagnosed with incurable cancer and passed away um, very recently. Everyone's been so incredibly supportive through what's been a very, very challenging part of my life. If Annie hadn't introduced me to those people, then I don't know how I would have managed. From organising charity fundraisers to helping others, Annie's ideas and energy seem limitless. She never does it for recognition. This is not about recognition. It's just part of who she is. Every village needs an Annie. She's super enthusiastic about everything. Yes, every village does indeed need an Annie. And for this one big thank you, we sent her to a cookery class with a difference, with celebrity chef Hugh Fernley <coughs> quitting stall. But what she didn't know is that we were actually cooking up a surprise for her that she would never forget. We are in Axminster, just up the road from Beer, at River Cottage, home of celebrity chef Hugh Fernley Whittingstall. And he's been primed to help us surprise Annie. When I heard about all the amazing work that Annie's doing in her community, I was really happy to be part of giving her a big thank you. Annie thinks she's coming here today because she's won tickets to an exclusive cookery course. But as always, there's more to it than that. Actually, the dish I'm going to teach this morning has been specially chosen with Annie in mind. In fact, Hugh is going to be cooking Annie's signature dish, sausage plat, using her own family recipe. This version of it has got some really specific ingredients that are very much Annie's own. But today, I'm going to pretend they're all my idea. How long will it take Annie to work out that Hugh has borrowed her family recipe and is passing it off as his own? And right on cue, Annie arrives with her friend Nikki, who's in on the plan. We've told Annie that the film crew will be shooting promotional material for the cookery school. The other members of the fake course are all part of our team. Welcome, everybody. Fantastic to have you all here. Let's head for the kitchen. Annie and Nikki take their places at the workstations. Our first job this morning is to chop these things. Annie's getting stuck in, oblivious so far to the fact she's actually cooking her own family favorite. The mushrooms obviously will sweat down a little bit. How are you? That's beautiful, yeah. That's absolutely great. That's looking really nice, no burnage. It's almost like she's done it before. With the basic ingredients out of the way, Hugh starts adding in some of Annie's unique twists. When will the penny drop? I've got these lovely dried apricots. You want to get these little flavor bombs in. Annie's bemused. Hugh's showing her how to make her own recipe. You seem to be very confident about this dish, Annie. Yes, um, it appears that it's going to be a signature dish that I make all the time. You're joking. She's twigged, but Hugh keeps up the pretense. It is going to be a sausage meat puff pastry plat, but I haven't actually done this too often, so I'd like to ask <laughs> Annie to come up here and take my position. This can't be true. And I'm no. going to come round here. <laughs> oh, no. And I'm going to learn from the expert. Oh, no. Annie can't quite believe it. Now she's leading the class. Because you need to seal that bit at the end there. With the pastry expertly plaited, Hugh's coming clean. Now, Annie, there is a reason why we decided to do this particular dish today, which is not a speciality of mine. We heard that it was something that you were brilliant at, and we heard that from your friends and family and the community in beer, 
and they wanted to say to you, on telly, on the one show, one big thank you. Annie's definitely seen the funny side. Oh my goodness! And there's more. Back in beer, a big crowd of people from the village have gathered to greet their hero, Annie. Just another little something that I don't think you were expecting. Oh, no, 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 come on. <laughs> oh, no. It's Alex here from The One Show. Your energy is incredible and it seems you never stop. Beer wouldn't be the same without your energy and enthusiasm. And here are some other people you might recognize who wholeheartedly agree. Annie, you are amazing. All the fundraising you do for all the local charities, you are non-stop. You look after everyone in the village, young and old, and you definitely deserve a great big thank you. Hi Annie, the village of Beer is very fortunate to have someone with your commitment and it's a big thank you from all at Beer Coast Guards. I just want to say a huge thank you for the enormous amount of money you have raised for the end of life palliative care nurses that we fund. Thank you, you're a star. Annie's also a keen gardener and one of her favourite presenters, Alan Titchmarch, had this to say. You are a powerhouse. I've heard so many good stories about you. And one of the best ones, of course, is that you love gardening. So please keep up the good work, both in beer and in your garden. And another of her heroes, Richard Osman, sent this message. I've just been hearing all about you, the incredible work you do, the money you raise, the way you look after your neighbours. Annie, congratulations. Enjoy your time and thank you for everything you do. Oh, 